Hello everyone. It's Pastor Skitch and I'm in my office right now and today we get to read a book together. Today we're going to read a book called The Marvelous Mustard Seed and it's written by Amy Jill Levine and Sandy Eisenberg Sasso and illustrated by Margot Megink. Let's dive in. A child plants a mustard seed in an empty garden. It is an itty-bitty seed. It isn't anything very special, yet. Mustard seeds are so small, you have to look hard to see them. You have to look so hard to see them that you need to get really close. Let's see if we can get you really close. There it is. There's not much to be done with a single teeny weeny seed. You can't eat it, or wear it, or you can't take it for a walk. You can't cuddle it. You can't write or blow bubbles with it. The only thing you can do is plant it in the soil. Then the rain falls and the sun shines. And things begin to happen in the earth. Do you see that? But no matter how hard you look or how close you get, you can't see the tiny seed. The seed is hidden down with the moles, down, down with the ants, down, down, down with the earthworms. Then it happens. In the place of the little bitty seed, up comes a shoot. Up, up comes a sprout. Up, up comes a bush. But it doesn't stop there. It grows and grows and it grows. Until it becomes a humongous tree. Birds make their nests there. The neighbors exclaim, a mustard tree? Amazing. Birds resting there? Surprising. People enjoying its shade? Unbelievable. Acorns grow into big oak trees. Cedars have trunks that you can't fit your arms around. Mustard plants are just ordinary bushes. But not this one. This one is a mustard tree. You don't have to look hard or get really close to see it. It is right in front of you. So people, some people touch it to make sure it's real. Others sit under its branches. They take the pods from the tree and remove the seeds and make spices. They take the mustard leaves and the seeds and make medicine. The spices and the medicine are there for everyone. The kingdom of God is like a mustard seed in the garden, right outside our windows, growing from eatsy beatsy teensy weensy to colossal, from impossible to see to unable to miss. The tree is so gigantic, it's a wonder. It is not at all what we expect to find, and yet there it is, surprising us, helping us to imagine what can be, but isn't yet. I hope you had enjoyed this book, and I look forward to reading another book sometime with you, and I hope you'll go back and read some of the other books that we have for you. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.